What's going on everyone? Welcome to G-Ball Vision and today we have an unboxing to do for you guys. We will jump right into this guy using the brand spanking new collaboration with Chavez and Lee Williams. This is the Ultramar Redention 229 Kickstop the Tanto Blade variant and guys if you haven't seen the unboxing, I will link a card up there in the top right hand corner. This thing is outstanding. Uh, if you are used to the full size 229s, they typically have the thumb stud and they are amazing. But adding that Lee Williams kickstop to this whole thing just changes the game. I mean, it is buttery buttery smooth and you have no flipper tab getting in the way there because of that kickstop method uh, it is just a phenomenal phenomenal design with an incredibly good flipper mechanism built into it the lee williams kickstop if you are not familiar hides within the liner of the scales once it is actuated and then upon closing the blade, it will pop right back out. A phenomenal, phenomenal design. So we will use that guy to hop into this. Now this package does come from Urban EDC Supply. This is going to be one of the exclusives that Urban EDC does, which they do a lot. Uh, but this is one that really caught my eye. And guys, do me a favor. If you like knife content, EDC content, unboxings, reviews, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you here. And go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. So... We have a Cuvist Blade Works, and this is something I've had my eye on since the initial uh, teaser, I guess you want to say. Uh, when these were first teased, I was very, very interested. So, Cuvist has done these sway back front flipper style knives. And he decided to go ahead and dabble in a slip joint style knife. So let's move the box out of the way. And these do come with a leather slip. And this feels very, very well done. You have the Cuvist branding there on the slip. That is very very nice so here is our knife and it's not a big guy it is a smaller knife we can get some dimensions here in a second but this one in particular has that awesome segaha pattern done and it is on both sides this is the brass anode titanium version with the segaha they did two versions at urban edc supply they did like a stone wash stone wash with the segaha and then they did the brass anode segaha with a dlc blade and these are coming in 20 cv blade steel and that guys is amazing because guess how much these cost right around 120 bucks and you're getting a leather slip which those could be anywhere from 20 to 40 bucks and then you're getting an exclusive knife with the segaha in titanium and you're getting 20 cv blade steel Ooh, oh that is oh wow nice nice walk and talk 
This is actually exactly what I had in mind. This is a little smaller than your typical slip joint. So let's pull out this brother just because I have it handy. So this is probably, you know, a standard size, maybe on the little of a larger size. But there you can see that this is quite a bit smaller. But the way that it is designed it fits awesome in the hand you don't get quite i don't get quite a full purchase but it is very very close and the pinky kind of acts like a stop in a sense but it feels very good in hand and then you get this awesome modified it's it's a modified worn cliff modified sheep's foot blade boy nice so you can use just kind of this fuller up here to pull it open or you can use the hole that has incredible action yes you hear them pops here, let's get it on the microphone. So here's the close. Open. That is awesome. Yes. So this is going to be, you know, a nice little pocket dropper. Uh, you could throw it in the slip and throw it in the pocket. You could just throw it right in the fifth pocket without the slip. I will probably keep it right with the slip. Get this nice and fitted around this guy. But that is just awesome. I wasn't the... I liked the variant and variant PE2. But they just weren't really my style. This... I like this, um, and it's very similar, but it's it's not a flipper. You know, this is a slip joint, uh, so you're not really dealing with anything else other than just walk and talk. Uh, this is very nice. I'm willing to bet it is nice and slicey too. Let's let's go ahead and see. We have a standard piece of paper here. This is just to see what the factory edge is like. See how it comes out of box. I know this isn't a scientific test or anything like that. But you're not going to be using a slip joint knife for anything more than just basic cutting tasks. So you're not going to be, you know, beating on this thing. This is going to be just a nice little pocket knife, you, you know, for opening up some boxes, breaking down some boxes, uh, you know, opening mail, opening a kid's toy, you know, things like that. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That is slicey, guys. That is slicey. Wow. Yes, this thing is nasty sharp. And I mean nasty. <laughs> this thing is nasty. Is that... That is a hollow grind. 
Yeah, it is. That is a hollow grind right there, guys. So you're getting that nasty little 20 CV sheep's foot blade with a hollow grind. Oh, my. This is like a little pocket razor right here. It is. This is fun. Oh, this is sweet. Uh, and I don't have a lot of small knives like this. So, you know, perfectly fine with me to, you know, I have a couple smaller knives. Uh, the Baby Banter, the Mylea, things of that nature. But at most, I have a couple. You know, no more than six, not even six, uh, including this one now. So I'm perfectly fine with having something that is a little smaller. Uh, I like bigger knives typically, but there's nothing wrong with having a couple smaller knives in the collection. And this one I'm definitely hanging on to. The last variant PE2, I sold that guy just so somebody else could experience it. it wasn't quite my cup of tea. Uh, this is coming in right at two inches of blade length, right at two inches. And you're just shy of two and a quarter overall on the blade length. And then right about five and a quarter for your total so this is not you know this isn't a big guy but this is sweet what he needs to do now is make a vanish two or something or a vanish xl and make it in something like this that would be awesome I would snag one of them up in a heartbeat. Uh, this is awesome. And titanium, 20 CV, great quality for right around 120 bucks. Now, you don't have to get the exclusive. There are base versions out there, and I think they might be, you know, 10 or $20 cheaper. Uh but guys this is a sweet little banger knife right here that is awesome so how about this and this that looks pretty good <laughs> that looks awesome look how little that guy is that is awesome Shall we bring out just for fun? And then we have the Synapse XL, which is going to be a little bigger than the Chavez. So these are probably the three knives I'm going to have in my pocket for the rest of the weekend. That'll do it, guys. Love y'all. Give the video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this little guy. Did you pick yourself up one? Are you thinking about picking one of these guys up? And if you're still here and you are not subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below the video. I would love to have you here. For everyone else, have a good night.